on on impeachment, I know how you both feel, but if they do open this inquiry with a vote next week, should the administration then be more compliant with the subpoenas? Because that was the issue that you had with them in the Trump administration. Well, I, I think what we're interested in is uh, ensuring that there's uh, a fair and, and legal process. I'll leave that up to the White House counsel to, to give advice um, uh, to the president and the executive branch. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a real attorney. Vice Chair Lou is, and I'll, I'll let him speak. But I think what we're, what we're concerned about uh, and what Democrats have said time and time again is um, – you know, let's let's use this standard. Then this was the standard that was previously um, uh, took a vote in the House uh, in order to um, go to the next step. We appreciate the administration being so forthcoming and providing documents, thousands of, of documents, and, and uh, um, uh, over to uh, the House majority. But um, you know, if this is what they want to devote their time on without any proof or evidence, that's uh, then then they're free to do that. I'm a recovering attorney, uh, but uh, even I know that you need evidence to go forward with an impeachment inquiry. Unlike with President Trump, uh, he incited an insurrection. There was video of it. There was audio of it. There were 140 police officers injured. There was damage to the Capitol. Here, there's just no evidence. There's no transcript, no video, no evidence of any wrongdoing by President Biden. And Republicans can't even explain what action he took or what policy decision Joe Biden made that somehow broke any law. And I think your question is not quite correct. The White House has been extremely compliant, providing over 35,000 pages of financial records, 2,000 Treasury reports, 36 hours of testimony, and Republicans still have not found a single shred of evidence to implicate Joe Biden in any wrongdoing. 